Hello. Today I want to encourage you with something that um, God encouraged me with today. But first, if this is your first time tuning into my channel, welcome. This is the channel where we talk about health spiritually and naturally because we were destined by God to live an awesome life. So please hit the like button and the subscribe button for future updates. Um, I just want to encourage everybody um, concerning some things that God himself encouraged me with. Um, this morning when I woke, woke up um, and I was getting ready for a Sunday morning service, um, the Spirit of God spoke to me and he told me that your hope is everything. Hold on to your hope. So I got ready to um, go to church and at our church, the praise team and the choir, um, we pray in the back. So as, um, as I was praying, God began to tell me that um, my people, um, they have a false hope. And so um, I was just praying and asking God to show me and reveal to me what, is, what do he mean particularly. So God began to tell me to repent for the false hope. And I began to tell God that I repent and I ask him to forgive me for having a sense of false hope. And so um, that is simply praying and believing God, but then having like a backup plan in case he don't come through in this area or this situation. Um, I'm going to do this instead. So then um, we began to enter into praise and worship and we went into the sanctuary and as we began to uh, worship God, God started ministering to me. He said, I want you to have the type of imagination as a child um, because children, they have such this mind that they can just imagine anything like and they believe it. You tell them Santa Claus is real, they're going to believe it without faltering, without having any doubt or any question in their minds. So. I was like, okay, God, begin to open up my mind. Um, give me the spirit of imagination so that I can just um, see myself in this position of where you have me to go or what you want me to do. So um, church went on. And as the preacher began to get up, God gave me the scripture Hebrews 11 and 1. Faith is the substance of things hoped for. And so God, um, just going back to the false hope, is that I know we have had all, we have heard so many scriptures on faith, but not so many on hope. And so I started thinking about if faith is the substance, it's just the important part of hope. But hope is an imagination, having the imagination. And so that's what God you know, he really started ministering to me about the substance. So I'm not going to just talk a lot on faith because like I said, it's so many uh, preachers and teachers and evangelists that have just hit on faith. But faith, um, like my uncle, he expresses a lot of time, faith is information given to us by God. So Abraham, God gave him information. He told him to do something. So if I think of faith is the substance, it's just an important, it's an important part of hope. And so that substance, someone may tell you needle and thread will make you a dress. So I got the information that this needle and thread will make me a dress. So the substance is needle thread and the fabric, okay? And so that's just an important part, but my hope is visualizing that dress. And so I just want to encourage you like God encouraged me, you know, go back to dr not only dreaming again, but setting your expectations, your hope in God again. And I really believe that God will not only meet you at the point of your need, but start imagining yourself healed, imagining yourself prosperous, imagining yourself doing the things that God has destined for you to do. And I really believe that God will not only meet you at the point of your need, but he will go higher than your hope and your expectation. Until next time, be blessed.